Run. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at the 20. There's Martin as they begin on the ground, and he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there, but there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, Creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. From the 22, here's second and eight. On second down, Martin. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said, write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. If that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Micah Kaiser was in on the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And off comes to Martin. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Menardrick McKinney there to make the stop. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. 14, 14, running. Three, three, now Wilson. Touchdown number seven on the year. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. So first and 10 now from the 30. down. Henry. Now they go screen. It's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31 yard line. A good convergence there defensively. Only a yard and it's second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. All right, here we go. Green, 39. They'll hand it off now. Hill. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Gone, 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 gone. Operating. 
waiting for the gun. Henrik. Underneath here to Hill. And Hill running right through it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And 12 yards that time and picking up the first. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all off season about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it would have been, been a different long story. Long night. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Looking to throw on second down. Henry. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. The Rams on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Now let's go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Back to throw. Henry. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone... You've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you run in the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, nada there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Let's go get it right here. Come on. Back to the ground. This time it's Martin. And he powers his way up past the 30. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? The first carry for Jeremy McNichols. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play.
They stay on the ground. This time it's Hill. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means what in halftime? Adjustments, Adjustments time, right? Figure out what they are. Figure out the things that they really want to accomplish and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Find those guys and get in that direction. To throw on third down. Henry. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawks defense. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. To throw is Wilson. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Now it's Wilson. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watched that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the shotgun, Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Edwards. 50 catches for him now on the year. He's got a first down. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. On, That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Now a play fake here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Edwards. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. First down, here's the run with Martin. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. They run again on first down, Martin. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. On second down, here's Wilson. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. 
The Seahawks on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Here's Wilson. And it's caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And the Rams now coming out on the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two Green, touchdowns 39. early. Probably Green, not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. To throw on second down, Henry, and Henry's hit. He lost the football, and the Seahawks have recovered. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. A toss play. This is Martin. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of 7 leaves him with a second and 3. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, 7 yards on first down, that fits the bill. They give to Martin. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. The Seahawks on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Martin. It's a game of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. Chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. A great play there with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. That'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. 
We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Looking to throw on second down. Henry. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. They're in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decide to make it a priority, and it's working out. The Rams on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and 19. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. Looking to throw. Henry. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. He'll take it at the 42. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Seahawks will have great field position to start this drive. They take over on the short side of the field. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. They are clicking on all cylinders. They seem to be just scoring at will right now. And that's why they've opened up this big lead. Now we always talk about getting into the zone, and all athletes are seeking that, aren't they? But everything is working for them. Every move they make works. It clicks, and they are on point right now. Yeah, they are in that zone that you're talking about. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They run, Martin. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. That one good for 10 yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. The offense on third down tonight, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to Century Link Field after this. The Seahawks on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll run it. Here's Martin. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Three yards there. Good enough to keep the drive moving. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But in short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Penny, the first down carry. And a solid run down inside the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. They run the counter with Martin. Martin flexing the muscle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Here's 
to give to Penny. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Now a run with Martin. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. Prater for the extra point, and a route is on here in this first half. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Rams getting set to go now. Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. But they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, normally, you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally, I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big-time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. And not a whole lot doing there. So he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's second and seven now from the 28. So we are at halftime here in downtown Seattle with the Seahawks out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first down, Wilson. He's going to float this one deep right side. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Second and ten now, Wilson. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Edwards. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. So from Rams territory now, it's first and ten at the 44-yard line. A handoff to Penny, and he stopped immediately there. On the stop was Aaron Donald. 
And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Martin. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The Seahawks on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and six. Again, it's Martin. And an alley to run. And he's taken down inside the 30. We'll give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Come on, let's go! Now Rashad Penny. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. times here today this run's not going to go anywhere no gain on the play there so they're left with a third down and six The Seahawks on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. This will be third and six. Hey, D line, let's get in there. Let's get in there, huh? Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. Drops it off to Martin. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. It's a gain of six on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Mm. It looked good when it left his foot, but he kind of sliced it a little bit, and he winds up missing it wide right. He'll be brought down about the 28. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth barring a conversion here on third down now let's go 319 319 on 
on third down. Henry. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. Well, let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? A gain of six there on first. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Here's Martin, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. The Seahawks on third down. They've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. This is third and four. They run it again with Martin. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Now that was a big time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let him get anywhere near it. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. A gain of three, second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. He'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. J.J. Watt makes another tackle there, and, and it's for a minimal gain. And let's face it, if that's all you're going to get running the ball, you are not got much success against him and his team. Or, yeah, you better find a way to go around J.J. Watt, which isn't easy to do. It's really not, because you got to try everything. Can you go around him? Can you go by him? Go can you now. influence him to get him out of position so maybe you can wall him off? He's a really sharp, intelligent player, as well as a physical specimen. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. before he could even get started. He lost two there, and it's third down. 
Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different, try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started. The Rams on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and eight. Hurry up, here we go. 319. 319. Hot. From the gun, Henry. And able to find Green. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First target, first catch, and a first down. Couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Four down, four down. Set. Green 39. Green 30. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. JJ Watt, the one that gets him down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Here we go now. 3-19. On second down, Hill. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the pickup, and they're going to have a third down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The Rams on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This time they face a third and two. Set, three, 19, three, 19. On the ground, this is McNichols. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. First down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Second down now. Hill. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Nickel look by Seattle on third down. Yep, five defensive backs now. Hurry up, here we go. 319. 319. Back to throw. 
throw. Henry. And the third down pass falls incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's got his man here. It's green. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. This quarterback now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Now let's go. Blue line it. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And Cooks hands it over the middle. And they got it inside the ten at the eight. Twelve yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. That's just his second catch of the game. They wanted to keep him silent. They have kept him silent. Defensive football 101. Don't let the best player on offense beat you. Take him out of the game. And they've done a great job of doing that. Scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now, there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Now you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that footprint. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. to throw again. This will be caught at about the five. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. It's the fullback. His first touchdown on the year. And the Rams are able to draw a bit closer. Two able to connect on the extra point. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on, on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Second down, Martin. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. 
early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And the Seahawks on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This will be third and five. And off comes to Martin. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Nichols to start the drive. And space opened up a bit. He's able to take this up past the 10. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And that run there does nothing but juice up the guys who are moving the football. I mean, if you're an offensive lineman, people running it, actually the guy calling plays, you're almost jumping up and down jubilation, aren't you? Yeah, now you've got options on second down. And big-time options. You might want to think about play action and try and get something cheap right here over the top. All right, here we go. Blue Landy! Blue Landy! On second down, Hill. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. And now the Seahawks are going to call another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. down at about the 21 yard line nine yards on the pick up there and it keeps the drive alive everyone understood their role on that play third and one you know the defensive guys they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman but they didn't allow that to happen they created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down all right here we go Right back to him on first down. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. To throw on second down. Henry. And it's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Looking to throw, Henry, and incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. And there he 
indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Hurry up, here we go. Green 39. Green 39. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it would appear that the Seahawks are going to win this football game. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. <laughs> yes, get out of there. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for the Seahawks, they continue to be one of the best teams around as they move to 10-2. And, and they'll get to stay home again next week as the Tennessee Titans come to town. Meanwhile, for L.A., this season is beyond salvage now as they fall to 2-10. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against Jacksonville. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports. sound
Pac out the card, hop out the Porsche, shake that, got that for me, use the a la carte. Boy, I had to make my point about this wave, watch for the sharks bounce, sharks bounce. I gave it up and talking Cuban links. Tell her ain't no weak link in my Cuban link. Only like my only like my only like age. age. We was ganging since the platinum Fubu days. I got dreams of being over I should move it, yeah. Listen, babe, listen so good, you think I'm cool with yeah. Okay, my diamonds dancing, I can Lisa Ray. Life is hard, but it's easy being truthful, baby. Baby, for real, for real. overload, overload. This is like I got like my pinky, my pinky. Money, baby, we don't fake with ain't us. Bet it back, I bet I match it like the same style. Chopsticks for beef from shutting PF chains down. I gave you prophecy, my first one, then you lame down. Luckily, so, but it wasn't for me. Still the flow raw, peep the way I bubble in these streets. Who can with me? Nikki, baby. Go, go, go. They gon' let me in this club in these dirty vans. Clean money and count stacks with these dirty hands. Do a show, cut the rack with my new advance. 50 bands, 80 bands, 100 bands. I'm the American dream. Look at them, uh, how to make it in America, real day one, ain't a lot of us, mom worked two jobs, it was hard for us, me and sis made it out, now she proud of us, they didn't teach me how to rap in those private schools, wasn't like my rich friends, had a lot to lose, less money, less options, lot of rules, so when that first deal came, it was opportune, and shawty got potential, I scout that, she say she in love, but I doubt that, maybe it's the to the cloud, I get love in the north, I get love in the south, yeah, uh, shawty claims she a feminist, and her feminine, girl, you know that he average, girl, you know I'm a savage, they gon' let me in this club in these dirty vans, clean money, I count stacks with these dirty hands, do a show, cut the rack with my new advance, 50 bands, 80 bands, 100 bands, I'm the American dream. 